Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel with a brand new channel name personalized to me called Teresa Jackson the Cerebral Palsy Sketch Artist. I hope that everyone is well. Just a quick update. I am having a meeting about starting my art fundraiser in April. So, I am finishing off my mind map to show the people that I am having a meeting with. Also, I have made an advisement to do some art projects in nurseries and schools. So, that the children can experience the art culture from an artist point of view. And they can learn about art in a fun and creative way by doing fun art themes such as sea, woodland and many more. However, despite that I just started advising this and thinking that it would not go anywhere. But I was wrong as I had three messages within just an hour of me posting my advert. I am so happy that I am getting somewhere with me to be an artist. I have got a job which I am starting in June where I teach children art. I am very excited about it. Okay. So we are going to get into our third part of education on cerebral palsy. This is the last part, but I will look for more information on cerebral palsy or disability artists. As I have been saying that for a while now, I may do that for the next video as I have been meaning to do it. So, I am sorry that I just forgot to make the video. So, this week we are moving on to talking about cerebral palsy associate conditions and life expectancy with cerebral palsy. So, let's start with cerebral palsy associated conditions. A few people may get some associate conditions while others might not have any, and therefore these may include Learning difficulty as children with CP cover the same range of intelligence as other children. Epilepsy, which affects up to a third of children with CP. Hearing impairment in only 8% of children. Visual impairment, problems with sleep, communication difficulties, feeding difficulties, drooling, problems with toileting, behavior issues, which affect 1 in 4 children with CP. Periventricular leukomalacia PVL. Life expectancy for people with cerebral palsy. Every person with cerebral palsy has the same life expectancy as anyone else who doesn't have cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy does not progress. This is the same for the injury in the brain too. However, the effects may change over time, this can be better or worse. For example, aging people with cerebral palsy age the same as any other person who is not disabled. What problems that people with cerebral palsy report as they get older? A few long-term effects of aging with cerebral palsy may include increased levels of pain and discomfort, osteoarthritis pain and stiffness in the joints, increase in spasms, increase in contractures shortening of muscles, tight muscles, digestion problems, new or increased back pain, incontinence. There are many reasons why people with cerebral palsy, some in which an individual can experience much later in life. This could be Poor seating in a wheelchair and posture. If someone does not have enough seating support, it can make someone that has spinal problems become worse. This can lead you to have pain, discomfort, or lack of function in your limbs. Lack of exercise. Exercise is very important to keep your movement. If your muscles become tight too much, then this can lead to contractures. You can get yourself to do exercise by Cerebral palsy and physiotherapy Exercising from home Taking part in disability sport Or even carrying on walking 
Carrying on walking when you are having difficulties may cause long-term problems. This can lead to arthritis in your joints. It can also cause back pain as your other muscles try to compensate for awkward movements. Physical exhaustion. Many people with CP push themselves to their physical limit. Lack of rest can lead to a decline in your physical and mental function. Inappropriate orthopedic surgery. Surgery can help prevent spinal irregularities and contractures. Check that surgeons have specialist knowledge of CP before agreeing to any procedure. That's all for this week. Join me next week as I talk about cerebral palsy in teenagers and drooling. See you all soon.